Steam. 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 Hi, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Alyssa and I'm the Science Program Manager at Boston Children's Museum. And today I want to show you one of my favorite kitchen science experiments. It's called psychedelic milk. And I bet you already have everything you need to do this experiment in your house right now. So you shouldn't have to go out and buy anything or spend any money. You can probably just get going right now. So here's what you need. You need milk. Now I use regular whole milk to do this experiment. And a lot of times people will ask me, well, will it work with skim milk or will it work with almond milk or um, goat milk instead of cow milk? And the answer is, I don't know. I've never done it with any of those things. I've only ever done it with whole milk. So I would encourage you to try it with different kinds of milk. And if you do, please tell us in the comments below what you tried and how it worked or didn't work. Okay. So we got milk. You'll need some dish soap, any kind. Will do. You'll need food coloring. I like to do this with uh, just the prime colors, red, yellow, and blue. And once I get going on the experiment, I will tell you why I like to do it that way. Uh, you'll need a jar with some water in it, a few toothpicks, and you'll need a shallow dish of some kind. Um, I'm using this one. It's pretty small, but it'll show well on the camera. You can use a bigger dish, a, a baking or roasting pan would work really well, a pie plate. Um, if you have like a shallow uh, soup bowl or salad bowl or something like that, that would work really well. Uh, what you don't want is a big, deep mixing bowl. So you want something nice and shallow like this. Uh, so before we get started, I am going to add just a little bit of soap to my jar of water. And I'm going to put the couple of toothpicks in there to soak while I set up the rest of the experiment. Okay, let's get started. So first I'm going to pour some milk into my dish. It doesn't have to be super full, but it wants to cover the bottom of the dish completely. And I'm going to add my food coloring. And I like to start by just adding three drops of each color. Um, it's a nice, easy thing to remember, and you can always add more later. But I find that if you start with too much, it just makes a big mess. And you can see that I am spreading them out, too. I'm not putting them all on top of each other. I'm kind of trying to spread them out on the dish here. So. What I'm going to do is take a soapy toothpick and I'm going to touch it to the surface of the milk. But before I do that, I want you to make a prediction. And a prediction is simply what you think is going to happen. Scientists make predictions all the time when they start experiments because a lot of times they have an idea in their head of what's going to happen. Um, they're asking the question, you know, what's going to happen? So start by making a prediction and uh, don't worry about if it's right or wrong. A lot of times scientists make predictions and they do not come out the way they expect and that is totally okay. So I hope you have made your prediction. I'm gonna go ahead and very lightly touch my soapy toothpick to the surface of the milk. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Ooh. It's interesting. Sometimes it kind of pushes into the other color and sometimes it doesn't. And that time the yellow sort of came up underneath the blue. Mm -hmm. um, now I could sit here and do this all day long and um, I'm really fascinated that I'm getting a lot of green because, you know, I said at the beginning that I like to just use the primary colors and that's because if you mix the primary colors the right way, you get other colors. And I think it's really interesting that my blue and my yellow are mixing together very nicely to make green. And I'm getting a little bit of purple. My red and my blue are mixing to make some purple. But there's not really a whole lot of orange. I'm not getting a lot of red and yellow mixing to make orange. And I find that interesting. So that is an observation that I am making. 
So, um, <laughs> this is just so cool. I could just keep doing this. So I hope you have enjoyed this experiment and I hope that, um, think a little bit more about doing science with your kids and maybe don't find it so intimidating. Um, Please continue to follow the Children's Museum on social media and we will continue to post activities and experiments for you to try in science and art and engineering and we're going to have storytelling and all kinds of things to keep your brains engaged while school is closed and you are at home. So thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen today. And I will see you next time. Thanks.